Hey guys, how's it going? Elliot here again. Today's video, I'm gonna be going up to B&Q, which is like a kind of DIY shop, basically. And that's where I got my uh, shelf unit here from. So I'm hoping to get another one of those, although I'd like a single one so that I can just add an extra piece onto here um, and then display a, a bit more kind of of my stuff. Um, at the moment, I have everything mixed in. So I would like to just have this prominently being Nintendo, considering I have so much Nintendo stuff, and then the one next to it to be stuff like the uh, the Neo Geo, the Swan, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's head up to B&Q and hopefully they'll have one. Also a quick Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you. Gonna double check to see if there's uh, any sort of shelving and stuff like that in there. Hopefully there is. We're just looking for a single unit with the kind of cubes as I've already got. So they don't have any uh, shelving units, but I might pick up this for screws and stuff. Decided to get a couple of uh, these like LED lights so we can stick them at the top of the displays and then they can shine down. Hopefully they'll work. All right, so we are back from B&Q. Unfortunately, they didn't have any more shelves. Um, they are apparently getting them in at the end of this week or the start of next week, so maybe I'll be able to pick up some more then. Um, I did get some bits and bobs though. I got this, which is on like really cheap sale. Um, I don't really care too much about these, although they're kind of maybe useful for something, but the fact that they have um, these little precision tweezers is quite useful. Um, I also got two sets of these, um, which are basically like little LED lamps. You just push the, uh, the LED in, and then it lights up. So I was thinking maybe of sticking them under each of under each of here. So I've got six of them. So all the way up here, all the way up here. Um, so I'm gonna set my camera down on the tripod, and we'll have a look and see if they work. So my intention is then just to stick them up here and as you can see, yeah, that looks pretty freaking sweet. In the dark, that'll look nuts. And it actually does manage to light up everything. Um, I mean, I'm holding it a bit oddly at the moment, but yeah, that's gonna be awesome. So I just gotta make sure I stick them all in the right place and then they'll light everything up and it'll look cool as hell. So that's all of them in now. I think it looks really, really awesome. Those lights, the packs of lights are only eight pounds each. So for 16 quid, lighting everything up, it was definitely worth it. And uh, to turn them off and on, you just simply uh, pop them down like that. And then there we go. So I think that looks really, really cool. I'm really happy with that. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. There's not really too much else to, uh, to do or talk about. Um, I've got one last thing actually. Um, I've ordered a DMG Game Boy, that's the original one. I've got one here. I've uh, lent another one of them to uh, a mate of mine. Come on, there we go. So uh, one of those, I've ordered a black one of those. And um, I've ordered some like replacement stuff, some modded parts, and I'm gonna be doing my first Game Boy mod on this channel. So if you got to the end of this video, this is a little bit of a uh, spoiler then for one of the videos that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, so yeah, that's it, a modded Game Boy. I'm gonna try and mod it as much as I can. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be quite cool. Um, in terms of other videos, the Game Boy Light Part 2 will hopefully be coming out soon. I've ordered a bunch of uh, replacement parts from Japan, so hopefully they'll arrive in the next like week or two or something, hopefully next week. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So thanks very much for watching. I'm really happy with my, uh, my lights, and uh, have a great 2017. I'll catch you in the next video.